so hello guys welcome once again to a new video today we are reviewing this uh, dash cam this is the ddpi mini second revision as you may know uh, the first revision of this uh, uh, dash cam came out on the market uh, almost four or five years ago but was a really poorly review. This is the second revision, which has a, a, an updated uh, IMAX uh, sensor from Sony. And how you can tell this is that it has an aperture of f2.0. The other one has had an aperture of f2.2. So if you see this boxing, and uh, the f2.0 aperture then uh, you have the the new revision and a better the better looking one so what we will do now is uh review this this one this revision and we will compare it to my trusty um blue sky c b1w which is an uh, amazing uh, dash cam which i already have now for uh, two years and it's it's working fine and I'm really happy with it but this I bought it for the other car unfortunately I didn't find another B1W on the market as quick as I wanted so I thought I will give this a try so let's do an unboxing a quick unboxing hopefully I can do it with one hand so in, inside you will have a, a user manual, in my case in it's in English and in Russian. Here is the camera itself. Uh, right off the bat I can tell that this uh, has some less features than the B1W. One of them being this uh, emergency button here and the button that you can uh, uh, switch on and off the Wi-Fi and uh, to save a um, specific video if you want this one doesn't have any buttons whatsoever so yeah also in the in the box here you have uh, 3.5 meters USB to USB uh, micro USB cable which is suitable to yeah for um tucking it away nicely also you have a pry tool an additional sticky pad 3m sticky pad and the light lighter charger and yeah that's it in the now I will install it and make a comparison of the two the two cameras also on the daytime and also on the nighttime if it really looks better than the original DDPi. Okay.
So as you saw, this is a really nice camera and uh, for the price of it of only $50, uh, I think this is a great, uh, a great buy. The quality on daytime is really, really nice and stacks uh, together with the B1W. Uh, also on the nighttime, I consider it to be really good. So for just a camera, if you need only a camera, this is really, really good. One additional thing that I, I liked was that it doesn't have any lithium uh, battery, so you don't uh, um, yeah, risk of uh, catching fire or something. It has a super capacitor, so it uh, remain, uh, it keeps some voltage for, for five seconds after you, you stop the car. So this is really nice. So in conclusion, I consider this uh, a great buy. I really um, recommend buying it if you only need a, a, a simple camera that does the job. But be careful to be the f2.0 aperture because this is the, the new revision one. So yeah, if you consider this uh, video helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing for more videos. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.